All right, hey everyone. This is Evan Hunsinger with the last video demo for the semester. So um, today I'm going to show you a little bit more about um, the second project I took on, which was uh, creating post commit scripts for. Um, I was able to get Subversion and uh, Mercurial done. So, um, so yeah, my last video I showed you guys how they worked with Git. Um, <clears throat> but those are already implemented. Um, and basically, to give you a quick summary, it would, uh, these hook scripts would look in the commit messages uh, associated with uh, change group. And um, for each commit in there, it will look at the message and look for a certain or two different strings. And if it found these strings that were related to a review request, then it would automatically set that review request as submitted. Um, so uh, I will show you both the Mercurial and the Subversion integrations. Um, so I have three test review requests uh, open. Um, now if I jump into the terminal, um, just gotta navigate to my. I have some test repositories, and we'll test out Mercurial first. So with Mercurial, um, as most of you probably know, it's a distributed source control manager. Um, now it doesn't have um, like a post receive hook like Git does, um, but it does have a couple options that I looked at. Uh, one was called change group and one was incoming. So change group hook would have executed every time a group of change sets would have been pushed to the remote repository. So even if there are numerous pushes, or sorry, numerous commits, um, this hook would only execute once. Um, the other option was the incoming hook where if it would look at each individual change set within a change group. So if you had committed uh, numerous um, numerous times before you pushed it, uh, this script would hook, or this hook would execute for each individual commit. So I went with that route because it was easier to look at each individual commit um, since we're only dealing with one at a time. So um, in this repository, I just have one text file. So I'll just um, add some gibberish in there, uh, make a commit. Uh, so hg commit and we'll make sure that we have the proper uh, the string that's going to look for it's not case sensitive so if I just say um, all finished review request number one and commit that um, and I'll show you the difference I'll show you what happens if I have two commits so if I edit it again so we can see it um, closing two different review requests. Uh, oh, there you go. Um, change that some, and we'll make another commit. But this time we'll close off the second review request. Now, as soon as I push. We should see some activity in the uh, web server, which we do, and we'll also get an output saying that review request number one and two have been submitted. So if we go to the um, the actual web page and we refresh the, refresh these two, we should see um, a notification to say that it's closed, um, and also there should be another blurb or a post on the on the review request to to say that's been closed. So there's that and it's been marked as submitted and same thing for the second review request. So that's the Mercurial integration in a nutshell. Um, now let's look at the Subversion one. So Subversion uh, is a centralized SCM and I don't have too much experience with centralized SCMs um, but um, Basically, instead of having to 
push your push your changes every time you make a commit it's going to it's going to try to apply those changes on the remote repository so mercurial is a or sorry subversion is a scm that has a post commit hook so if i navigate to if i navigate to that um And the same thing here, I just have one test file in the repository. So the second that I submit a change to the, or that I commit a change to this test file, um, this, um, the hook script will execute on the, on the, on the remote repository and it will do the same type of um, action that the mercurial hook script did. So if you just do svn commit um, all finished review request number three then we'll see the same type of action on the web server and if we refresh this, we should see the same thing that the status or that the review request has been closed and has been set to submitted. So that's what I was able to get completed um, for the second project. I'll hopefully have some more time to. There was one more. Uh, one more SCM that we wanted to, to look at, which was Perforce, to get hook scripts implemented in, um, and I'll likely be able, to, I'll likely still be contributing after this class is over, but um, I wasn't able to get it done before term end. And yeah, just like to thank everyone for watching, and I had a great time this semester being able to hack around on review board, and hopefully I'll still see some of you hanging around Slack. So yeah. See you later.